Hi, my name is Karen James, and my husband was Kelly James, and we were living a, what I considered a really normal life, and things drastically changed in December 2006. Kelly James he was a veteran mountaineer, more than 25 years experience, and he decided to go with um, his dear friend, Brian Hall, and their new friend, um, Nico Cook, to climb Mount Hood um, in December. They wanted to get some ice climbing practice in for a trip they were going to take this year um, to practice for Mount Everest. But things went drastically wrong. And Kelly and Brian and Nico got caught in one of the worst storms in the decade on Mount Hood. Knowing this, took the kids up there and for seven agonizing days we waited at the base of the mountain while search and rescuers tried so hard to reach them but they couldn't. Um, we knew where Kelly was because I received a miracle call and I call it a miracle call because no other calls got out from the mountain during that time period. Um, it was about three days after the guys had started their climb then Kelly called and we knew that he was trapped in a snow cave about 300 feet below the summit and Nico and Brian had gone for help. We knew that he was cold and wet and hurt. Um, it was an incredible call because it was the last time I would get to speak to my husband but I got to tell him that I loved him and encouraged him. But during that time, I, I never really dreamed that it would be the last time I talked to him because Kelly uh, was a really can-do person and I was convinced he was going to get off that mountain alive. But um, it wasn't God's plan. And so when rescuers found, finally found, after eight days, Kelly in the snow cave, and I got the news that he was dead, my whole life changed. And I, I really wasn't prepared for um, dealing with death, um, and especially in the public nature. I really became a widow live on CNN, and it was so incredibly painful. I felt incredibly exposed and very vulnerable at that point. Um, with Kelly gone, I really thought that my life had just fallen apart. And I had to reach so deep down inside uh, about anything I'd ever learned about my faith in God. And I know today that the only reason I have been able to go on is because of God's incredible uh, mercy and strength and being able to carry me. Um, I, I also know that God really helped prepare me for this um, journey as I look back now. Uh, I had worked uh, in the past as a journalist with law enforcement officers and um, the sheriff and the rescue workers and I became very close and they were so incredible uh, during the search and rescue and also after. Uh, they cared so much about our three families. Uh, they still keep in contact. Brian and Nico to this day have not been found and our families uh, pray for them every night that they too get to come home. But I think that some of the most poignant things that I remember and helped me uh, through my journey, uh, when Kelly was alive, he, when I would get worried, he would say to me, uh, why are you so worried? And I'd say, oh, because of this and that. And he'd look me right in the eyes and he'd say, baby, why are you so worried? Because God promises to take care of the little sparrows. Why don't you think he's gonna take care of you and you know, after um, Kelly died and in my grief, I, I remember looking out the window and I'd look at these little sparrows and I'd remember God's promise. And it, to, even to this day, I have to always remember those little sparrows when uh, this earth seems to start nipping at my heels and I become insecure about what's gonna happen uh, in my life. And then I remember those words. And I think that, um, and well, I know that the only way I could have made it through this journey is because of God, because of my faith. And I, um, I always look back to um, one of my favorite scriptures. In fact, it was Kelly's favorite scripture, and now, of course, it's my favorite scripture. And it's uh, Philippians 4.13. 
I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And I take a lot of comfort in that and knowing that uh, this is just a temporary journey here and that we'll all be together again. And that's what I think is uh, really helps and uh, helped me deal with my grief and was able to go on because I know that uh, we're never really apart, just a temporary separation. Forever seems like yesterday But only angels know these things I can hear your voice sometimes at night And it echoes through the day When my soul cries out for missing you I remember what you say As long as you love You will see me in the stars As you look up at the stars As long as you love